crawl. Long.
Walk in the light. That nifty. This shrinking spice intrigues me. What substance could produce such a pronounced effect on bug snacks? From what I observe, it was manufactured by ancient grumpuses, so surely it'll be simple to recreate. <laughs> Shelda, know anything useful? <laughs> you can be quite funny on occasion. Frivolities aside, I require a sample of shrink spice for study. Bring a specimen here and place it into my trough. <laughs> Hmm. 
It seems this substance becomes quite volatile when removed from its origin. A flaw in its design, perhaps. How troublesome. I may need to employ a more direct method of study. By which I mean, bring another sample here and throw it at me before it combusts. Yes, I'm told physical violence can be quite cathartic. Since the spice causes no apparent harm to bug snacks, I am reasonably certain that I will be fine. couldn't tell. <laughs> that was rather unpleasant. <laughs> However, having experienced that, I have learned two very important facts. One, the substance does not work on grumpuses. Two, I should not do that again. I am no closer to obtaining a usable sample of shrink spice. However, I believe we may learn something from the local bug snacks. Use the shrink spice to capture one chedorb and one milimochi. Then transform me with those specimens. Use the shrink spice to cut. Shadow. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Millimo. Neat. Try not to do anything too stupid. Millie Mo Yum 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 Intriguing Ah decently competent work. Unfortunately, any remnants of the spice seem to have been digested, but this too yields interesting results. In their shrunken state, the bug snacks here are not fundamentally different from those on Snack Tooth proper. I am still forming my hypotheses, but I presume the process is endemic to this island, and the spice was created to inhibit it. None beyond the usual. <laughs> After all, Chandler ate a Bunga Royale as soon as we arrived. And he seems alive and well. It will be simple. I am merely exhausting every avenue of study. It's called being thorough. Look it up. Now, I've observed chocolates capable of maintaining a small size. This may present a more stable vessel for the spice. Regrettably, I must not eat it, delicious though it may be. So bring one to my science trough, please. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> At last, a viable sample. Now I can extract the powder and finally put this mystery to rest. This requires my utmost concentration, and you ask far too many questions. You may return when I found my answer. <laughs> Blast it all! I do not need your distractions! I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany... Mm, bah! Plants are not my area of expertise. You cannot be serious! I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. That was clearly a statement of hyperbole. I very much like this bow tie, and I will not eat it even if doing so wins an argument. Ha! If Shelda knows the secret of the shrink spice, I will eat my bow tie. Very well. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. Waft. Don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel? Cinnamon? Uh, black tea? Each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents... <coughs> Oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid. A common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. I suppose I have let my personal feelings inhibit my judgment when it comes to Shella and her potential for collaboration. Rest assured, to prevent repeating such a mistake, I will endeavor never to feel feelings again. I don't ask for much in this life, dog. But if it was up to me, I'd be ten. No. 20 feet tall at minimum. Bro, I gotta see if eating these big bug snacks will make me Big Chandlo. I saw this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big lifting? You know I gotta get me some of that. Clubs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah! I can feel the lifting energy inside me. But I didn't get bigger at all. I guess I didn't get huge eating that big bunger either. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna admit to myself that it's not gonna work and move on. Guess that means my investigation's over already. What do I do now? Bro, if I can't handle Big Bunger, I don't stand a chance against the rest. Goals for the future, maybe. I'm already helping where I can, bro, but I'm not a scientist. Floofty said if I touched their lab again, they'd give me an excoriating worthy of my fatuity. Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy fixing up Snacksburg, training, life coaching, and, you know, I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang! We ought to shoot some hoops! All right! Hoops, 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 hoops! <laughs> you know the rules, dog. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. My turn! <laughs> nice one point! You got one point! My turn! <laughs> Grump! I missed! My turn! <laughs> Grump! I missed! My turn! Ow! Huh. Two points for me! My turn! Huh. I got three points! That's two points for you, bro! My turn! Huh. Grump! I missed! Three points, dog! My turn! Ha! <laughs> ah, four points for the Chan Man! You got four points! My turn! <laughs> and swish! Five points, Chandler! And that's the game! Don't feel bad, bro. I'm sure you'll crush it next time. Thanks for playing with me, bro! Now that we're done hanging, I gotta get back to Snacksburg. I gotta go check on Snorpy. I'll just make another raft. Or I'll swim back if I have to. The ocean's not that tough. Oh, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years. And he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm gonna need some big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island, and I'll stick around till I'm fueled up. <laughs> yeah. Now. <laughs> Whoa.
Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline.
Kill him! Ow. Grump. Oh, Grump. I think I ate too much. So good, though. No regrets! Oh. Oh, hey, while you were out there, I've been thinking. Before I go, I need some major guidance. Normally, there's stuff I can't talk about because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? All right, Shelda's waiting. <laughs> hey, Sheldog, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. I'm worried about Snorpy. Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life. But it feels like he's getting further away from me, and, and I just don't know what to do. Uh, one must in the path of the mother. No, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says that boy needs therapy. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe. I listen to his problems. I try to help him feel valid, all of that stuff. Chandlo, you are strong and wise and wonderful, and you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. Yeah, thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey, bro. While I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty, too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? Hey. Thanks for playing b-ball with me, bro. I've been stuck balling solo out here. Snorpy tries, but he's got a long way to go. You feel me? I did ask Wambus to play one time, but he just picked up the ball, dunked it, and walked away. Oh, such a waste of talent, bro. A rematch? Dog, I'm always down to hoop. Let's go get our dunks on. You know the rules, dog. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. You got one point. My turn. <laughs> Grump, I missed. That's two points for you, bro. My turn. <laughs> Grump, I missed. Three points, dog. My turn. <laughs> nice one point. You got four points. My turn. <laughs> Two points for me! Whoa, five points! You won, dog! I didn't know you were such a baller! We gotta have a rematch sometime! I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chan Lo? 
Trifony, you know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati, but aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts, and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Up, 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 let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Triff Dog. No problem! And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me! Oh? I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chanlo I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass, but no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary Grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. Yeah, <laughs> where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that... There was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpicton has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. No, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me! Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. Bro, 
know. I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snack Tooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I need some time to just think. One time, I stayed an extra hour at the gym and Snorpy reported me missing. And I guess he also rigged the apartment with booby traps. I got hit with paint cans 10 times just trying to open the front door. I mean, I was okay, but our landlord was pretty mad. I suppose. Rest assured. Don't mind me. I'm just stewing on what might be inside that temple. You know, for all... Whew. One wonders at every second what revelation this accursed land could possibly contain that would be worth suffering a mere ten minutes with floofty. Not a grumpin' thing, that's what. One must see what lies within those supposed shrines to Mother Nature. Not shrines destroyed and forgotten, but one untouched by the ravages of time. One can see it, up along the river's path. That is the place we must meet. Mercifully, the path is free of obstacles. One thanks you for your devotion. The path once more revealed, and yet no less treacherous. One's heart is filled with dread for the truths yet unknown within the river shrine. Nevertheless, we must push forward. for meeting me out here. I guess if it's just you and me, <laughs> I can keep it casual. Oh, the front entrance to this place looks too strenuous for these old bones. But I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. When you find it, can you please open it for me? One wonders at not a grumpin'
identical to the shrines I used to visit in my youth. But it's been twisted, corrupted. Here, Mother Nature is the bringer of bug snacks. The stories they passed down, the warnings about the toxin, they must have come from experience. Yes, the place where I learned about the beauty and wisdom of this world. I hear it's a parking lot now. <gasps> no, the mother is of purest light. Her ageless wisdom vastly predates these vile monstrosities. 
But her followers are a different story. No one starts life off the path. That's why we all need guidance. I grew up hearing stories about the dangers of Snacktooth Island, passed down through the oral tradition from those who survived it. Not that many did survive it. Just enough to give one very clear message. The toxin must not be consumed. Because it will lead to your doom. What doom, I, I do not know. The story's gotten frustratingly vague over time. Oh, I did! Every day at the top of my lungs! It's all of you who didn't listen. It wasn't really a raffle, I can tell you that. <sighs> Come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. Yes, this is the place. In the stories, they called this island Broken Tooth. So the story goes, the toxin's influence grew so great and powerful that the sun itself went dark. And so Mother Nature unleashed her wrath on her errant followers, purging the toxin and sending everything to the depths of the ocean. Looks a lot like wrath to me. But that story never sat right with me. Destroying followers who stray? That isn't the mother I know. She's not the bringer of bug snacks either. The ancients can't even get their story straight. So what am I supposed to believe? If I can't rely on the wisdom of those past, then all that's left is my own experience. I need to meditate. Child, if you would do me a kindness. You see that egg, Lachelle? I need you to crack open three of them. This time it's not a metaphor.
Oh, thank you. I know that wasn't an easy task. Ah, bug snacks are so often in the shape of unliving things, but somehow these shells are just shells. They're also the only good source of calcium on this island. But don't judge me. I'm fighting osteoporosis. Ah, anyway, I've centered my thoughts. I want to know for myself what bug snacks are, whether they're of the mother or not. I'm going to need that big old nasty flying bug snack. Please, bring it to the box of purity when you get the chance. <laughs> No, 
Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. <gasps> Floofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. Grow a tree, but I can't do that right now. But one must admit, when it comes to delving into the forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the mother protect me. Ah, Shelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding, to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid order of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, 
then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature, or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, then just this once I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Ah, uh -huh. very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step 1 of 17. Preparing an adequate formula and solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. Bug snacks are but one of many of the mother's toxins to take root among the Tooth Islands. Bramble found that out the hard way when he tried to eat the lupins. Take it from an herbalist. Almost everything here is secretly poison. One time, I, I got hit. That's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. Fantastic. All right, everybody, team meeting. Thanks for meeting, everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, y'all. Yeah? Indeed. I must say, I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. <laughs> say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, Shelda, what did you find out about Mother Nature? With some <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother. Yet toxins still. Just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap, the reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken, and one believes that this was not the work of the divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Shelda. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flufty. Things simply are. Using my words against me? Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan! I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh! Please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening now? Ha! Oh, you missed it, Triff Dog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction. 
as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm, I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Triff Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will- Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And- <laughs> You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the engorged Strabiform or Bacula encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! We finally got a way in! Nice teamwork, everybody! Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh yeah! Big Strabby! Center yourself, Chandlo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, Let's poke around in these ruins. Oh. Scan around the temple. See if you can learn what this place was for. Then what happened? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, are you finished already? If not, I'm a little busy here. Don't talk to me till I've had my archaeology. <laughs> I should put that on a mug. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. This temple resembles nothing I've seen among the followers of Mother Nature. Its depraved purpose lies only in the worship of bug snacks. I really wish Snorpy was here to help. He loves this kind of stuff, but I don't think he could handle it. This collapsed chasm. I suspect it was once quite deep. If only Snorpington had joined us, he could have given us a subterranean analysis. What a shame. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? Whoa! Come check this out! It's a shame we may never know what used to be at the center of that big crater. I'd bet my left toe it was something incredible. But we can't go dwelling on what isn't. If so much as one tooth survives the ravages of time, that's quite a gift, plain and simple. Hmm. This temple resembles nothing I've seen among the followers of Mother Nature. Its depraved purpose lies only in the worship of bug snacks. I found this machine thing buried here. Kinda reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads. Indeed, yet large enough to launch something of significant size. In fact, it seems to be perfectly suited for the big monkey ball. I believe an experiment is in order. <laughs> I really wish Snorpy was here. This collapsed chasm. Locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm, there seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a jolt from the snack grappler to activate. Now, that can't be a good sign. What did you all do? The disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit! Ready yourselves! A grave danger approaches! Bros, I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again! Oh, my God. 
Everybody's okay. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping. <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses. Mm, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think, ages ago, something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Bortle come out of there. Huh. <laughs> if the Cheddar Bortle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature, or perhaps the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Ah, uh, islands don't generally want things, Chandlo. Unless... Those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes. right, sounds good to me. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Wonderful. And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. I am skeptical of the idea that Krumpus' sacrifice is the true catalyst for snack gigantification. However, this is infeasible and, yes, unethical to test at the moment. Regrettably, I must leave with more questions than answers. However, rest assured that I am by no means finished researching this island. It seems like the more we learn about Snacktooth's history, the grimmer it gets. But that's the dark side of archaeology. Civilization never collapses in a nice way. On the bright side, we might have just discovered the historical basis for the myth of Grumplantis. Grandma Lotta Blog would have loved to see this. Oof, I'm gonna need new bones after this. Uh, <clears throat> but one finally understands the mother's will. Broken tooth is not a vision of the past, but of our future. And you better be ready for it. Oh, Grump. We've been gone so long. I'm gonna call Snorpy the second we get signal again. Partly because I miss him a lot, but also so he knows it's us. So he doesn't try to blow up the raft.
Snorp Dog! Chandler, my l- Um, <coughs> you're in one piece. And I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! Trithany, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure. I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh... If you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpinati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that... Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, 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 that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but well, I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, ah well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg! Hello! Wimbone! How you doing? Here. 
Which direction does Lisbeth face when sleeping, and does she keep her eyes open? Bruh, you would have to ask Liz? But Lisbeth's gone, dog! We can't wait for her to come back! We need a decision now! Sounds like a job for Bilbo! I think Liz would want a place close to everybody. Chandler, Snorpy, we're gonna put Liz and Egg's house right at the heart of town. We are, are we? And who exactly put you in charge? Uh, Lizbert did? Um, weren't, weren't you at the meeting? Hmm, I don't recall that part. Everybody keeps forgetting that I'm kinda in charge. There's gotta be some way I can remind them. I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, speaking of my mayoral duties, I've been trying to come up with a name for our town. What do you think of Lizbertalia? Absolutely not! <laughs> Even I have to admit that's a little too Liz-centric. This place belongs to all of us. Oh, okay, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, so, what's something we all have in common? Well, we all like bug snacks, right? Of course! So, uh, something food-related, like, uh, Yum Bill, uh, Picnic Place, uh, Food... Burg... Baddington Square, the Hamlet of Eatsdale, Flavor Town! I kind of like Food Burg, and Snackington's good, but a little too fancy. <laughs> what about Snacksburg? Snacksburg! I like it! And it does have a certain rustic charm. Then it's settled. As mayor, I hereby declare that our home will be named... Snacksburg! Yo, Bilbo! Don't we need to vote? This is a democracy, dog. Oh, yeah, uh, right. <clears throat> then as mayor, I hereby declare that we will hold a referendum on whether to name our new home Snacksburg. Hooray! Hooray! Hey there!
this secret hideaway just to ask questions of the first stranger you see? Hmm. I do respect the pursuit of knowledge, and I have been down here for way too long. Go ahead, question me if you dare. <laughs> and crypto-snackological researcher. That is my passion, anyway. I am also a part-time barista. I was sent here by my organization to monitor this triangular relic. A position of honor, I was told. But I hold no illusions. This is a punishment.
and I don't understand its true purpose. The ones who built it are lost far beneath the ocean. The organization uses it as a break room.
first queen was wrathful. When she awakened, she wreaked terrible vengeance on those who had sacrificed her to the bug snacks. The second queen was benevolent. Through her guidance, the bug snacks were pacified, and the snack tooth empire flourished for centuries. But as all empires do, it grew beyond her control. The third queen will be one of ours. Hopefully, with her power, we will usher in an age of peace and prosperity. Ideally, before my student loans are due.
wasn't that fun. I will be taking your recordings now. Oh, don't look so shocked. Surely you understand I can't let any of this become public knowledge. As for what happens to you, well, I believe the Snackalites could use someone with your investigative talents. And I, of course, could really use a recruitment bonus.
Hey, buddy. Buddy. Okay. I need some time to think. Millimo help. Scoopy, but noopy.
Greetings. Agro. Oh. Ah. <laughs>
Bunny, hello. Ooh. Okay. Thanks for the help. Okay.
Yeah. Snack bar. <laughs> Buddy, Sando, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Rico. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sando, hubba, hubba. 
Campfire. <laughs> <laughs> 